I had one in this video, I will show you that how you can fix 7 days to die game is crashing or crash on startup. Guys, first solution is try this command only if crash on startup. So first open up the Steam, then just click on the 7 days to die game, then just click on the gear icon, go to game properties. Now here you will see the launch option. Now here in, in the launch option, just type minus DX11. Once you type it, now launch the game, then check problem is six or not. If your game is crashing, then just type here minus DX12. Now launch the game, then check. If your game is still crashing, then just type here minus D3D11. Once you type this command, now launch the game, then check your crashing problem is six or not. If your game is still crashing, then just remove the launch option and just inject the box of Steam overlay while in game, then launch the game, then check. Still crashing, then just go to the install files, click on the verify integrity of game files. It will take some time to so just wait for it, then simply restart your PC, then launch the game, then check. If your game is still crashing, then just click on the browse option and locate your game launcher or easy file of your game. So make a right click on it and go to its properties, go to the compatibility tab. Now here just uncheck this box of compatibility mode and also uncheck this box and just check the box of administrator then just click on the apply option now launch the game then check if your game is not launching or crashing then just check the box of disable full screen optimization then click on the apply now launch the game then check if your game is still crashing then just check the box of compatibility mode and choose at the windows here now click on the apply option now launch the game then check if your game is still crash on startup or crashing then just uncheck these two boxes and click on the apply option then just click on the ok now the next solution that you have to try is go to your windows search and just type here the update and open it guys simply update your windows and also make sure that your graphic card drivers are up to date once you update your windows or graphic card drivers simply restart your pc then launch the game then check now try out the solution and i hope one of these fix your problem and if yes please like this video and bye bye